Hi guys. Now, um, someone asked me to explain turbo. Hmm. I hope I have a whiteboard behind, then I can go. Hello everybody and welcome. Nah. Okay, I'm not gonna do that impression anymore. Um. Okay, to explain turbo, how do I do this? Um. Well, first of all, we all learn from schools that the more oxygen you have, um, the better the burning will be, right? Oxygen helps burn stuff. You can have fuel. Anything is a fuel. Uh, a log of wood is a, is a form of fuel. You can have fuel to... Um, sustain the burning of a of fire but you need oxygen to burn basically you need oxygen and any form of fuel right so um in 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 our in our car when you have petrol you can't just burn with petrol you need to burn petrol with air together that's why the engine sucks in air all right now the, when the engine sucks in air, most of it is useless, except oxygen. Okay, most of it. Okay, I'm not a scientist. And as we know, um, oxygen comprises, I mean, in our atmosphere, oxygen is about 20 something percent. I, I don't know what's the exact figure, I couldn't, couldn't bother. But almost one fifth of it is oxygen or more. I don't know. Okay, I have no idea. So what that means is, uh, if I have a cup here, if I have a cup, all right, I just leave it like that, it's open. Uh, I just leave it like that. If the cup is about, let's say, uh, let's say it's a big cup, it's one liter, okay? The, the capacity is one liter. You will have this much oxygen in that cup, all right? Now let's change that cup to up uh, I can't say the engine breathes in one 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 gas of air you know because it sucks in air continuously let's come back to the cup okay in one cup you get this much of oxygen so if I seal off the cup now and then I measure okay one liter cup is 1000 cc of air volume right out of that 1000 cc of air about this much maybe let's say 20 percent okay i don't know the exact figure 20 percent of it 200 cc will be oxygen right that is the amount of oxygen that we need now how does turbocharger works is that it compresses air what do we mean by compressing air let's say you have a tube all right the tube is this big like that and then it's open here it's open there and then you have air inside right and 20% of it is oxygen as what we established just now now if I use my hand and I do this I do this right I'm forcing technically I'm forcing more air into the tube right now how do I do do it continuously I can't be doing this right so to do it continuously uh, I can put a flap that resembles my hand and put it on a circular gear, right? Or or pulley. Say for example, yeah, I have something here and then I, I put a flap there, right? And then it turns, right? It will, it will sort of push in air, right? But this is one time. Maybe I can add another flap at the bottom so that it balances out because if it's not balanced if there's one flap here and nothing else here it's going to be like voop, 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 right the, the rotational force won't be equal so if i add one more flap here it will be the sequence will be like voop, 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 right and it's, as it's turning right it's pushing one time then the other flap comes up voop, right now if on that circle i add a lot of flap a lot of it as it turns it becomes a turbine that's why in turbochargers you can see a turbine because it continuously forcing air into where it's supposed to go so 
What do you mean by forcing air later on? So how do we make the turbocharger spin? Are we gonna pull a pull a, a, a like a belt? Are we gonna put a belt to the engine and strap it up so that when the engine turns, this thing will turn and this thing will force air in? That would be not so efficient. Why? Because you are actually leaching off power from the engine to power the turbocharger in fact there are things like that and they are called superchargers all right so turbocharger the beauty of turbocharger is that it is using something that goes to waste to add more power into the engine bay so what do you mean by going to waste now you have a, a, a fin that goes like that right it flaps like that and then how do I make it spin without using power from the engine I'm going to put a stick, connects it to another turbine with a lot of flap and that one is pushed by exhaust gas. So you have exhaust gas flowing out, pushing it spinning, that thing is connected to this and is spinning it as well. So when this spins, this spins as well. So that's the basics of a turbocharger. You have exhaust gas that push this turbine which is connected to this and then it push this turbine right now when I do my hand this way air won't be going one direction because it's going everywhere so we house this flap inside what looks like a snail right and the fins actually move in there so that there's an outlet the outlet is connected so that you're forcing air in right you get you get where this is going so that's how a turbocharger looks like that you know the snail form right and you have two snails why one exhaust gas turning the turbine and turning this one as well and the the, the air that will go in so one the intake air comes up here and goes up here the exhaust gas goes up here comes out there so it spins it now as it spins remember the cup theory we have just now one cup you have this much of oxygen this much of oxygen right as you compress the same cup now the air inside that cup is more compressed all right that means instead of a one liter capacity of, of cup with 200 cc of oxygen now you might have 400 cc of oxygen right because you actually press more air into that confined space you have more oxygen what that means is every time when your engine burns all right you have about 13 to 14 parts of air with one part of fuel petrol now imagine this with the same one part of fuel and that 14 part of air however that air is already compressed it's more dense and inside, inside that air, you have more oxygen atoms. You have more oxygen to burn. And that means more power coming out. So that's the usage of a turbocharger. It actually, what it does is to compress air, more air into your engine bay so that you have more oxygen inside. And the beauty of it is that it does not do so by leaching power off your engine. Where power comes from exhaust gas, the wastage of exhaust gas. And that's why you hear the term turbo lag. Why? Because when our car just started, when you're at low RPM, you have very little exhaust gas. So you do not have as much boost as you would like it. But as your engine goes up, the RPM goes up, you have more exhaust gas. Now you'll be thinking, so that means if my when my car is slow, my turbo is slow. Technically you're correct, but how do they mitigate this? There are many ways to mitigate this. Um, imagine now you hear twin scroll turbochargers, right? Actually what they mean is that last time, okay, last time, last time they have twin turbo. Twin turbo doesn't mean two turbos working at the same time. Most often than not, it's not. 
okay twin turbo means you have a tiny turbo and then you have a big turbo so the tiny turbo would make use of your very little exhaust gas when your car is running on low rpm to spool it that means it it provides the same amount of spool when you have very little exhaust gas but of course when it's a small turbocharger that means the compression is small as well but it's useful enough for when your car needs to get go so that that part now when your car when your engine goes up to a certain rpm they switch the exhaust all right or the intake to the bigger turbocharger that's when you have more exhaust gas pushing through the turbocharger and it spools fast enough to make your car go even faster that's what twin turbos are now they have twin scroll turbo which means one turbo has two passage one is tighter one is larger so at first they go through the tighter one so that it spools your turbo as well until when your rpm is higher it will spool it faster with the larger passage hello ah, okay thank you Thank you. Oh. So you get what I mean, and uh, there are very there are a lot of solutions to the. Uh, there are many solutions to spooling up turbo faster, and twin scroll is one of it. So that's the logic, and and the logic can can be used. I mean, this explanation came from Mazda. Uh, imagine you have a garden hose, right? Then you open the garden hose and then the water just comes out like that. But when you squeeze it, right? So that's what twin scroll turbo actually means. It's variable. Alright? So I hope I hope I managed to explain turbo. I hope. See ya.